Uh, it's been a while, but we figured St. Patty's Day would be a good time to kick back our reviews. And we're going to start with the Teeling Single Pot Still, which has not been reviewed by the Whiskey Vault. So suck it, guys. And we're going to do it right here. Uh, Teeling Single Pot Still is an interesting mash bill. It's 50% malted barley and 50% unmalted barley. Most pot stills, like Green Spot or Red Breast, they're more like 70 30 malted to unmalted. Uh, Teeling decided to try and play with that balance a little bit. Uh, most people know Teeling for their small batch Irish whiskey. Well, they just released, at least just became available around me, um, two unique whiskeys. It's a single pot still and a single malt. And I can tell you I've tried both of them and I like them a lot. The Teeling Single Pot Still has a honey, straw, golden color to it. And on the nose, it's very floral. You get a little juniper, honey. Uh, a faint, faint smell of fresh baked bread behind those strong floral scents. This is 46% alcohol by volume, so and you can tell it, it, it's got it's got good viscosity. It really coats your tongue and the taste profiles are, are very much like the um, the aromas. I mean, it's uh, honey, a little bit of white pepper. There, there's definitely a sting. Boy, that's good. It is very soft and friendly. Goes down very easily. Um, very good whiskey. So now we're going to pair it with the Bellis Arteras Maduro by AJ Fernandez. This is a six by five and a half by 52 stick. It is dark chocolate brown box, you know, box press. You can, uh, it's got a toothy uh, wrapper feel to it. It's pretty oily. You can see the, you know, just a, a, a just slightly visible seams. Has a deep, deep barnyard smell to it, which is a has a deep, deep barnyard smell to it. It the the wrapper is Brazilian. The binder is a. Mexican San Andreas and the filler is Nicaraguan so off the cold draw this is deep deep earth you know baker's cocoa we'll see if it uh, changes as we light it up Try not to I try and toast it but not burn it. I actually find it easier to light cigars in the dark because you can see exactly the end of your jet line. Off the light. Definitely that dark earth, that baker's cocoa. And believe it or not, cashews. So we'll get into this. We're gonna see how it interacts with our teeling single pot still, which I, I should have mentioned is aged in virgin oak, sherry and bourbon casks. But what it doesn't tell you is how long it's aged. So this is a zero age statement whiskey. 
we're in about the first third. You can see there's a there's a little bit of a wavy burn. It's typical of box presses that uh, that kind of thing happens. Um, you can see the ash is pretty firm though. Uh, a typical AJ Fernandez, very well constructed. On the draw, I get a, again a deep earth still. Cocoa, not chocolate, but cocoa, Baker's cocoa. And on the retrohale, I get a little bit of a woodsiness and nuts, like cashews. Um, Nick tried it. She's sitting off, off camera. Uh, and she said that she got a, a strong grassy note too. Grassy kind of hay, barnyard um, taste to it. So if you like those deep flavors, and I would call the flavor profile is full. It's, a, it's definitely a flavorful cigar. And, and it lingers. It, it'll linger probably a good, for me, about 30 seconds after after the draw um, smoke output is excellent and um, the strength I would call it medium medium to full so um, great start to the cigar although the ash just fell off which is a little bit disappointing I'm gonna raise a glass because one of my favorite boxers, I, I probably watched so many, I can't tell you how many of his fights, you know, um, you know, just kind of watched them on YouTube. Um, marvelous Marvin Hagler, he just, we just found out he passed away. So we're gonna raise a glass to Marvelous Marvin Hagler, who by the way, I think he's, did win that Sugar Ray Leonard fight. I think he was robbed. Rest in peace, my friend. We're about a half hour in. You can see the burn a little bit, a little bit wonky, but I have not had to correct it yet. Uh, ash just fell off. Big chunk. It had a ring band it came off pretty easy flavor profiles really haven't changed too much if anything that deep earth um, is coming through a little bit stronger on the retro hail still nutty not a lot of uh, spice like not a lot of zing that you get from this some aj fernandez teeling with its 46 percent alcohol by volume and, and as oily it is really holds up well against this bellis at um bellis artes maduro um i wasn't sure how they were going to pair because of that you, you know that san andreas binder which is one of my favorite leafs but you know, sometimes that can come off pretty strong, but the this whiskey is definitely a full-bodied, oily whiskey that really stands up, you know, on its own. Down to the last third, you can see the burn actually has evened out a lot as it went on. Um, so very good construction, great burn. Smoke outputs remain consistent. Toward the end, the strength has ramped up. So the strength is now not a medium to full. It's it's a straight on full. You're getting a little bit lightheaded. I think I uh, ate earlier. And the flavors have turned a little bit woody. Um, and on the retro hail, actually on the inhale and the retro hail, it's a little bit spicier. There's definitely a, a tingle 
uh, on the tongue. Um, something that you expect out of a AJ Fernandez. It just took about two thirds of the cigar to really kick in. Pair it up with the Teeling single pot still. Boy, that Teeling has a little bit of white pepper in the background, as a lot of single pot stills have. You get the honey and then you get that honey mixing a little bit with cocoa. And interestingly enough, a hint of banana, which kind of calls back to Green Spot, you know, one of the uh, Middleton single pot stills, the classic Middleton single pot stills. Um, what are our next reviews is going to be involved Middleton Very Rare 2020. So if these flavors are what you like, I would definitely say go out and purchase a, a Bellis Arteras um, Maduro. I mean, it's a, it's a very, there's nothing really too bad I can say about the stick. Except for the fact that the ash is a little bit flaky. It falls off a little bit easy. And other than that, great cigar. And I highly recommend Teeling Single Pot Still. Um, just a great whiskey from a great whiskey company. Great things are happening in Irish whiskey. You're seeing more and more distilleries. It used to only be Middleton. Um, now, you got the distillery at Kilbegan. You got the uh, Glendala Distillery. You've got the Teeling Distillery. Um, the Drumshambo uh, is is a neat whiskey. Um, so great stuff happening in, uh, in Ireland. I definitely you know recommend people check it out. Every liquor store at St. Patrick's Day is going to be stocking up on the Jameson and Tullamore Dew, and those are fine whiskeys. But try some of them higher end irishes we're gonna now go uh watch the rest of the chocolatito gonzalez versus estrada juan estrada fights right card really looking forward to that superfly uh championship bout also the the women's championship bout which is mccaskill versus uh breakhouse that's a that's also a rematch hope you guys have a great night and a great St. Patrick's Day. We're going to be coming back with uh, the Barber Pole by Alec Bradley, um, the Filthy Hooligan. And we haven't decided which Irish whiskey, probably Green Spot, maybe Red Breast. So thanks for watching, and we look forward to talking with you later. Have a great night.